iPhone 5 Take Apart Guide. Before taking apart the iPhone, you need to make sure that the device is off. First, take your SIM card removal tool and remove the SIM tray. The iPhone 5 has a nano SIM as it is smaller than all the other SIM cards in other phones. Now to begin opening the iPhone 5, you will need to remove the two penelope screws located at the bottom of the phone. The penelope screws in the iPhone 5 take the same penelope screwdriver that is used on the iPhone 4 and 4S. The iPhone 4 and 4S are open from the back first. However, the iPhone 5 is open from the front. To do this, you will need to take a suction cup to the bottom of the display and carefully lift it up from the bottom of the display first. Once the bottom has come loose, you can lift the display up to reveal the insides of the phone. There are flex cables located under the display at the top that will have to be removed before the display is free. To remove these flex cables, there are three Phillips screws that have to be removed. Once the three screws have been taken out, the shield that covers the cable connections can be removed. You can now disconnect the three flex cable connections from the logic board with a flat tool. Once these are disconnected, the display will then come free. Now to remove the FaceTime camera and the earpiece speaker. First remove the two Phillips screws holding down the camera and earpiece shield. The earpiece speaker can be easily removed by using your flat tool to lift it up. The FaceTime camera assembly also has the FaceTime mic and proximity sensor attached to it. You'll need to use your flat tool to carefully lift up on the cable to not tear it as it is held in place with adhesive. Now to remove the battery. You will first need to remove the two Phillips screws, which is holding down the shield. Underneath the shield, you will locate the battery connector.
Use your flat tool to carefully lift up the connector from the board. Now use your flat tool to gently pry up the battery from the casing. Now to remove the vibrator assembly. There are three Phillips screws that have to be removed. There are two screws, one located on each side of the assembly, and then one that is located on the frame of the iPhone 5. Once the three screws have been removed, the vibrator assembly can come out. Now to remove the logic board. First remove the two screws holding down the shield for the rear facing camera. You will then find a Phillips screw under the camera flex cable. Remove that. Next, remove the remaining screw from the shield holding down the dock flex cable. Now use your flat tool to disconnect all the remaining cables from the logic board. You can also use your flat tool at this time to remove the antenna cables. There are three grommet screws that you may have to use a flyhead screwdriver to remove. One of the grommet screws is located at the top right of the logic board. The two other grommet screws are located near the battery connector. Now there are two Phillips screws that have to be removed from the board. They are both located near the SIM card reader on the board. There are now two screws holding down the antenna assembly that have to be removed. 
They are located on the frame at the top. Now carefully lift up on the board from the bottom and flip the board over. You will have to disconnect the antenna connector from the logic board. Once that is removed, the board is free. Now if you flip the board over, you will see that there are two screws holding down the rear facing camera. Once the two screws have been removed, you can use your flat tool to lift up on the shield and then use your flat tool to disconnect the camera cable. Now there are seven Phillips screws holding down the dock connector, speaker, and headphone board assembly. Remove all of these screws. Now use your flat tool to carefully lift and separate the dock flex cable from the casing as it is held down with adhesive. Continue to use your flat tool to separate the speaker assembly and the remaining parts of the dock connector from the casing. The whole assembly is held down with adhesive, so you will need to use your flat tool to separate the entire assembly from the casing.